<coughs> a couple of mail calls, and then uh, I'll show you what I've done with the uh, the Gilson I picked up a couple of weeks ago, and um, one other thing. Um, I went through my hoard of uh, my stash of computer stuff. I need a couple more, uh, but that's a project for another day. Oh, if you're ever in my area. Uh, if you're ever by my house and you see a Wi-Fi that says not NSA, don't connect to it. That's all I'm saying. Um, so, uh, I, I, it just occurred to me, I, I have over 100 subs and I, I just want to say thanks. I, I never thought I'd get 20. <laughs> so, I'm not sure why anybody's watching these, but I appreciate it. <laughs> so, thank you all for subbing and watching. And uh, for those that participate in the comments, thanks Thanks a lot. I mean, I, I do enjoy that part of it. Uh, did pick this up at Walmart the other day. That was about a week ago now. Two weeks ago. It was on sale for 12 bucks. Eh, it's a Cobalt. No, CH. Same people that make the air compressors. I figure it won't last long, but for 12 bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. Uh, I've already used it a few times. It works really good. And then starter pack was like 5 bucks or something. So I got a bunch of discs and couple of these scotch bright things. Anyway, so two mail calls. Um, the first one, uh, one if, I, if I can hold it up so you can see it, uh, one wild Camaro SS. Not only is he uh, artistic with his car, but oh my god, this sticker is incredible. I mean, you have to see it in person. It doesn't, just doesn't do you any justice seeing it in, in uh, a video, but uh, that's pretty freaking awesome, dude. In your handwriting, God, you make the rest of us look bad, dude. Mess it up some, will you? <laughs> and then uh, VWP8, awesome sticker. I love the uh, little YouTube and the symbols there. That's pretty cool. And um, this sticker is awesome. I love this sticker. And uh, sent a note. So. Uh, you're welcome for the support, dude. You have a good channel. I love watching your videos. Um, the other sticker he sent, I'll show you that in a few minutes. But uh, let's get these on the cabinet, shall we? Cabinet. So, uh, check these guys out. It'll be in the description. I love both their channels. Um... Uh, VWP8 uh, seems to just be getting started, so if you go over and show him some love, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Uh, uh, One Wild Camaro SS, great guy. He's interactive on the uh, description, on the um, descriptions, <laughs> on the comment sections of your videos and stuff. Um, frankly, he's just he does a whole bunch of different things, not just the car. Uh, he did, he, I mean, like he recently showed off his guns. Nice. Nice. Good job, bud. <laughs> so, anyway, check out all these guys. They're all very cool, in my opinion. So, uh, I am going to run out of space here soon, I think. I know it seems like I'm doing a lot of mail call videos. Sorry, guys, but, you know, I do enjoy uh, you did for president. Um, but I enjoy everybody's channels, and I, I just want to get as many stickers as I can. So, thanks. 1212, I haven't forgot about you, bud. Found a spot where I want to put it. Cool. And just so anybody knows, if you send me extra stickers, I take them to a lot of the car shows and stuff that I go to, and I just randomly hand them to people. You never know, right? Um, so, just know if you send me extra stickers, they go to good use. Um, Alright, so next will be the uh, Gilson Commander. I'll show you what I've done with it so far. Um... It's probably not going to be for everybody, but I like it, so we'll see. All right, let me let me get that set up. One more thing before I go, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who said um, sent best wishes to my yeah. I've got my old G3 Mac going. It's not good for much, but I can look stuff up and it tells me the time once an hour. Um, anyway, I want to say thanks to everyone who's uh, expressed concern and said thank um, sent you know prayers and such. Um, nothing she has is causing her discomfort or a problem. Um, 
trying to put this delicately. <laughs> she just has an issue that she needs to get resolved uh, before it becomes a problem. And that's what we're trying to find answers to. And perhaps because it's um, a problem that's so early in its development, that could be why um, the doctors aren't finding it. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I just wanted to say thanks, and uh, your prayers and uh, well wishes are appreciated. I, I do thank you. Oh, Captain Jerk, that's my Dremel. <laughs> $20 at Harbor Freight. I've had it about uh, two and a half years now. Seems to be holding up okay. I actually got, um, I actually use it to port and polish uh, intake manifolds and uh, exhaust ports and such, so... Um, and then, in fact, I just went out and bought a Dremel kit, and all these fit, all these fit in this uh, Dremel ripoff. I bring it up only because, you know, if you ever have to replace your Dremel, this might be an alternative. It's variable speed. You got the speed adjustment here. got lots of torque and power you know how long will it last doing what you do I don't know but uh, just a thought anyway so if I think of anything else I'll bring you back bye um, so I cleaned up the points there seems to be spark now. I gotta get my tripod. Okay, so I cleaned up the points and there seems to be spark now. I put a little bit of gas just to dribble in here. And let's see what happens. Now I haven't changed out the gas in the tank, though it desperately probably needs it, but um uh, I just wanna see if I get any doing this. Alright. Fingers crossed, here goes. Well, she sparked. Let's try it again. to go. She absolutely wants to go. Okay, that's good for now. I'll come back at this later. So, I uh, took the hose off uh, going from the gas tank to the engine and uh, started draining the fuel out. This isn't all of it, but yeah, I mean, it's so thick it like stained my gloves. And it's, I mean, it's, it's very, if you, if you, you know, put a little between your fingers, it's, it's almost slimy. It's, yeah, that's bad. And then this, I can't even get the bowl off. And the uh, gas filter, forget it. It's just completely clogged. So, yeah. Back in a couple minutes, I'm going to see if I can get that off. I sure hope I can. I'm gonna, I may have to soak it first. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know what the heck was in this carburetor, but this is just tile, and I mean, it's green. What the heck? And it's seeping out of here. It's obviously what was ever was in here. Now, I can't get this off. I've tried just about everything, so I'm probably going to soak it in some uh, carb cleaner or something. Just the bottom half. See if I can get that thing off, but boy... That's nasty. Ugh. And I finally got it by soaking some penetrating oil in there, but uh, yeah, it looks like a carb rebuilds in my future, huh? Maybe. Possibly. Lord.
What did they do? <sighs> Yikes. Okay, so that's what was left uh, in the gas tank. I emptied that last uh, bucket full out, so this was the last of it. And um, it was clean when it started. All that debris came out of the gas, out of the hose and the gas tank. So I've already run um, some uh, carb cleaner in there and uh, some clean gas. Uh, I'm going to have to do it a couple more times, I think, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, this is all in the Gilson Commander 1200, by the way. Just, I didn't mention that earlier, but. All right. Onward and upward. Got that rest, most of that soaking in the carb cleaner. When Once that's done, I'll put that body in there. I just don't have room for everything, so. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, a little couple hours in the uh, carb cleaner did a world good. <clears throat> and when I pulled it out, this was floating, so. I know it's good. There's no leaks in the float. Needle came out clean. The idle needle came out clean. Pretty much everything did. I didn't put the um, the uh, needle valve in there because I'm pretty sure that's plastic. Um, but even if it's not, uh, I got to get a carb kit. So I'm hoping that'll come with it. This is uh, the next thing that's got to go in. You can see it's pretty, pretty gnarly. But that's for tomorrow because uh, it's uh, it's midnight. It's time for me to go to bed. I've had enough of this for one day. <laughs> so anyway, it's progress anyway. Yeah, uh, I think the tank needs a little more cleaning. By the way, that cleaner in that tub right there was cl clear as water when I put it in the tank, so, yeah, yep, 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 more cleaning. Okay, so a couple things. I need a new seat cover. I'm working on that. There's actually a light behind here, so I'll get that fixed up. Uh, this is going to get replaced, but right now I can't get the key out of the ignition to take this so I can get this off. So this white. I didn't do this. This was actually done by the prior owner, but that's what gave me the uh, thought. I, I had some blue. I have some blue paint in the garage, so why not use that? So that's what I did. Um, I had, uh, for whatever reason, I had white engine paint in the garage, too, so I think that was given to me by somebody. Um, so, a little gold accent here and there, but otherwise, uh, it's mostly white and blue. Uh, basically, I just used the paint I had, right? And this is a epoxy appliance paint, so I'm hoping it'll be a little durable since it's going to be sitting outside most of the time. Uh, the hubcaps cleaned up pretty well. Uh, so, I spent... Uh, $20 on the carb kit and the petcock for the gas tank here. Um, uh, the hose, the new gas line I already had, but I don't know, a couple bucks for that. A couple bucks for the filter. $20 for a new battery because the old one was trash. Uh, the paint I already had. So all in, I'm still $50, you know, if you split the cost of the, 50, the original 50 between this and the Suburban, or I'm sorry, not the Suburban, the Sears Custom. 
So I figure I paid 25 for this, right? So 25 for each. So I know I need new tires, but these are good enough to get me through the winter if need be. Uh, I need them front and back. These tread wise are okay, but uh, there's cuts on the side that are starting to bulge out a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is to keep my eyes open on local papers and on Craigslist, garage sales, that sort of thing. See if I can find a pair that'll work. Uh, but I don't want to buy new ones. It's just not worth it. But yeah. And um, besides new tires, I still have to clean and paint the deck and the uh, snow blade. Uh, not a big deal. I've got, I don't know, four or five cans of black paint. So that's what's going to happen here. Clean them up, paint them black. This one is actually <laughs> originally white, looks like. Um, white or an off-white. Uh, so, I don't know. I'll think about it. If I go with the white, I've got that appliance epoxy paint. I'll throw that on there, but I'm thinking black, probably. Just keep it simple. Uh, definitely black on the blade, and really, uh, once I get the surface rust off, uh, the, uh, the black paint will just be to help it, uh, help the snow fall off, you know, come off the blade, just so it's not sticking to it. Okay, anyway, that's it. Not bad. And then, on an impulse buy, I went to, a um, someone that was, uh, had a, a garage sale, and I was looking for tools when I ran across this. For pretty much free, uh, it was a couple bucks. Basically, he asked I pay for the inner, new inner tubes that were in it. That was it. Um, so now I got something to haul behind it. I don't know what the hell I'm going to use for it. You use it for, but uh, I will clean up and paint this just so it doesn't rust. I'll stick it under the deck with everything else. But uh, if I need it, I have it. You know, uh, we're talking about redoing the the. Uh, ditch in the front which has a lot of rocks and boulders and such so this could come in handy moving those around so and I could I could pull it on either tractors the hydro or the commander so anyway so that's what I did it does need new tires uh, seat cover and I need to adjust the carb it's running really rich but otherwise you know I'm pleased with the way it turned out overall, really. You know, it's... It's not the original colors or anything, but... I'm pleased with it. And then, uh... Powered by Bratwurst and Beer. That was the other one the... VWP8 sent me. <laughs> I figured it was appropriate on this, so... So that's... So that's that. So... Catch you next time. So, a little bonus footage for those of you who might still be watching. Um, now that the tractors are done, the bike's done. There's, uh, it's getting cold out this morning. It was almost, it was real close to being in the 40s this morning. Winter's coming. So, it's time to me, it's time for me to stop putting it off. I'm gonna get the sears going um, as much as I can. I got a gentleman coming out who's gonna take it. Um, we're actually doing a deal on it instead of uh, cash. We're gonna do a trade uh, if he's willing. It sounds like he is. I'm sure he wants to see it before he commits. Um, I don't think Harvey Spooner watches my uh, channel, but if he did, uh, he'd tell you it's all about the deal, man. But I need to get that out of here is uh in the deck that goes with it because all of this is getting taken out i'm sealing the floor i've got a metal shelf rack that needs to go up cabinets that need to come down now because i have that and uh i don't know if i have the time and energy i might just repaint in here just to kind of freshen it up a little it won't be white though i don't know what it'll be but it won't be white but anyway, the garage is a mess. I've been working in it all way, all summer. Uh, I have job interviews coming up, and this next week I have two of them. I'm hoping something comes of them. Um, 
so my time's going to be limited. Um, in fact, I've been working hard uh, behind the scenes doing deals and trying to get uh, job interviews and such and applying at places. And Anyway, so I haven't been watching many YouTube videos or commenting on them. Uh, I try to catch up where I can, so if I haven't commented or watched a video of yours, I will. I'm just running behind. So, anyway. Yep, that's a good sight. I like that. My wife's none, my wife is none too happy. <laughs> no, she's fine with it, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I've actually got everything I need to create a lean-to right here. It's going to come out, well, probably even with the sidewalk here, and, um, it's going to be made of PVC and, uh, a real thick plastic to go over it, and that's where the little Gilson's going to sit with the snowplow. And uh, the big Gilson will still remain in here because I can fit all of that in here with my wife's car. All of that stuff in the corner belongs to my sister-in-law. She's not going to get it anytime soon, looks like. So I have to deal with that. Um, we have an e-waste pickup coming in a couple weeks. Uh, so a lot of the stuff right under that cabinet and back is going so maybe I can get all of my sister-in-law stuff up against the wall my goal is to get my wife's car back in here for the in time for winter uh, I don't want her scraping her windows or clearing off her car and if I'm working the only way I can make sure that happens is if she can pull her car in plus it's getting cold it's gonna get rainy I need a place to work on cars right so it's beautiful out. I don't even think it's at 72 yet. It's in 1 o'clock. Um, I should be out riding a bike, but unfortunately i got a million things yet to do. In preparation for, well, partly in preparation for the job interviews. So, uh, so that should do it. So, I don't know. Wish me luck. It's kind of tough out there. It's amazing how many people don't want to hire somebody with experience because they're old. <laughs> I think part of it is they see my resume and go, this guy's too expensive. What they don't know is I'm not. I just wish they'd, you know, talk to me before they just dismiss me. But anyway. All right. That's enough babbling. Later. Before I sign off, um, I wanted to show you the old pet cock. Here it is all. Kind of see the spindle thing broke off. So that's when I took it off and looked inside. And it's clogged. I don't. You can't really see it, but yeah, you kind of can. Anyway, I could barely get anything to come out of here, and I'm like, it's not worth it for fifteen dollars, or no, it's less than that. Um, I got a new one, and it has a micro mesh filter on the top here, so that's what I went with. And uh, I forget what you Dizzy was using, but uh, Gojo for hand cleaner, bud. That's what I use. But to be honest, it was on sale, so that's why I got it. So, all right, later.